I'd like to talk a little bit about the most common faults that you can have with, with shower mixing valves. The sort of thermostatic valve, sequentials, uh, bar mixers, recess valves, pressure compensating valves, power showers, just all of these kind of showers in general. The correct terminology for this is a, is a blending valve, it covers them all. And the reason for that is it blends hot and cold water together to give you the desired temperature. At number four, there's not enough water coming from the shower head. One of the complaints we often get is that the, the shower head, is not, there's not enough water coming out of the shower head. Usually it just means that the head needs cleaned. You can, some of the heads come to bits, so you can clean them. Other ones you can have to go around with a pin and clean the jets out. Or the other thing you can use is a sort of proprietary head cleaner. It's very good in sort of lime scale areas. And another problem you can get that's not quite so obvious is just as the hose goes through the bracket, it often kinks inside the bracket. And so you can't actually see it, but the kink cuts the water flow down. Another problem you get with the hose is all the hoses are twin walled and the inner wall in the hose actually collapses. Although you can't see it, that uh, the best way to have a look at that is to take the head off and see how it runs. And you may find out that it's, the flow from the hose is very restricted. So that's another thing to look for. And then there's the inlets on the, um, on, on the shower valve itself. There's generally filters in there, so it's worthwhile having taken these two apart and having a look at the filters, make sure they're clean. And very occasionally, the non -return, there's non-return valves in the inlets of the valve. They can become sticky and not allow the proper flow of water through. That's more unusual, but it can happen. Something to look for. Number three, the shower controls have become stiff and tight. One of the other common faults we get is that the shower valve starts to tighten up, you know, the levers become stiff. This can be done, can be fixed really fairly easily sometimes by just giving it a grease, a grease with good quality silicon grease. Other than that, it may need, a, may need a seal kit or indeed even a cartridge. The one thing that you have to make sure of is do not in any way disregard the fact that the valve's tightening up. Because what you can then happen is you can get metal to metal contact and this can wear the body of the valve. And it may mean that at some point you've actually got to replace the complete shower, where a simple cartridge would have done the job. If you're interested in how to service or maintain your valve, then we've got lots of other videos on YouTube that will show you how to, um, how to do that. At number two, the shower has water temperature problems. We get phone calls and emails from people saying that the shower has temperature problems, uh, too hot, too cold, going hot and cold when they're in the shower. Now, that's usually, a, uh, if it's a shower, that's usually a temperature cartridge that's the problem. However, the thing you need to check first is that there's the hot water supply to the shower. Now, the way to do that is to grab the inlet elbow of the shower, or indeed, um, if, you can, if you can't get that, get the pipe that leads to the shower, or indeed the pipe that leads from the boiler to the shower. If that pipe is too cold or going hot and cold, then the problem is more likely to be with the boiler than with the shower. The, um, the, the, the shower can only actually deliver what the boiler sends to it. Sometimes people will say, oh, but the temperature of the taps are okay. Well, you need to disregard the temperature of the taps because the tap has a different flow rate to the shower. If your shower's got um, got a good temperature going to it, then it probably is something like a, you know, like a cartridge that needs replaced. It's these that actually control the temperature inside the shower. And finally, at number one, the shower head is dripping, even when the shower valve is turned off. By far the most common fault we have with showers is that it's, it's dripping from the shower head. And frankly, this is generally speaking one of the easiest faults to fix. If you've got a shower head that's dripping, it's water going down the drain, especially if it's hot water, it's money going down the drain. Now, it can be fixed with something fairly simple, like a seal kit. Other showers, of course, use, uh, use, use cartridges in the, in the internals to turn the water on and off. These cartridges can cost from a few pounds, and with some manufacturers, they can cost many, many pounds, over a hundred pounds in some cases. But it's well worth having this replaced, because as I said, if your head's dripping, it's money down the drain. Thank you for watching. If you've not seen our recent uh, eco showering video, this will show you how to save money when you're showering. There should be a link somewhere. And uh, keep watching for our next videos. Mm -hmm.